Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am going to discussing about alpha numeric sequence puzzle. Uh, let's continue the last session. I will discuss one more group question here. See, what is the sequence given? This is a sequence given. Here, it consisting of letters, symbols as well as numbers. Uh, let's see the first question. How many such numbers are there in the above sequence? Now you have to see the numbers. How many such numbers are there in the sequence? Each of which immediately preceded by consonant. Number preceded by consonant uh, and immediately followed by symbol. Number preceded by consonant and, uh, and in the sense definitely it must be in this uh, pattern only. Number preceded by consonant and followed by symbol. We have to find uh, uh, those many numbers. So how many such numbers are there which satisfies the given condition? First, underline uh, what are the numbers given. This is 2, 8, after that 1, after that 7, 6. Now, let's start with 2. Number preceded by consonant, yes, followed by symbol, yes. It satisfies the given condition. You can count this too. Next, 8 preceded by consonant. No, this is not satisfied. Next, 1 preceded by consonant. Yes, K is a consonant. And followed by symbol. Yes, you can count 1. After that, 7. 7 preceded by consonant. No. Next, 6 preceded by consonant but followed by there is no uh, element is there. So, you should not count 6 also. Total, Two numbers are there. Total, two numbers which satisfies the given condition. Here, option 2 is not given. Nil, 1, 3, 4. Here, answer is none of this. Why? Because uh, only two numbers which satisfies the given condition. That condition is uh, number preceded by consonant but not followed by, uh, sorry, but followed by symbol. So, those numbers are 2 and 1. These are the two numbers uh, which satisfies the given condition. As uh, 2 is not given in the option, therefore our required answer is none of this. Let's move on to the next question. Which of the following, following is the 6th to the left of 18th element from left? Here this is left hand, this is left hand and uh, this is right hand. This is right hand. 18th from left, 18th from left to that uh, element, uh, to that element, 6th uh, left, uh, to that element, 6th uh, left. Uh, it means whenever left and left is there, you need to take directly the shortcut method, uh, directly you can take difference between those two. 18 and 6, uh, difference is uh, 12th element. What is 12th element from left? Uh, that is your answer. You can count 12th element from left. 4, 4 and 4. 12th element is this one. 8 is the 12th element from left. This is the shortcut method. If you want to go by uh, general processor method, you need to count uh, what is 18th element from uh, left and after that from that element onwards, you need to back to 6th left of that particular element. This is 12th element from left and uh, this is 16 and this is uh, 18th one. This is 18th one. For this one, 6th left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You got the same result. So, it is better to go by shortcut method in examination point of view. So, 12th left from, uh, 12th, uh, le 12th element from left hand, which is equal to 8. Option D is the right answer. Next question. In the above sequence, uh, if the above sequence is uh, written in reverse order, above sequence, uh, entire sequence is written in reverse order, then which of the following will be, then which of the following will be 6th to the right of 16th from right end. This is from right end. First of all, before uh, discussing about uh, the, uh, before uh, interchanging, reversing of, uh, reversing of elements, uh, first of all, uh, do the position. What is the position? 16th from right. First one is 16th from right end. 16th from right end uh, to that 
element to that element sixth right to that element sixth right sixth right of 16th element from uh, right end so 16th from right end to that element sixth right means directly both are right only so you can take the difference here the difference is 10th what is 10th from right end what is 10th element from right end here it is uh, 4 and uh, here it is 4 8 completed and this is the position 10th position 10th position from right end 10th position from right end whereas if we interchange or else if we reverse the entire order if we reverse the entire order this six this r goes to last position here this is 10th from right end so our required answer is 10th from left end that is our required answer if we interchange if we reverse the order that is 10th from left end here this r goes to this place this is r this is star t j l after that uh, 2 dollar d is equal to and uh, this is the position m here in place of w if you reverse the elements uh, then you will get uh, m m is the right answer in place of w that uh, element is uh, replaced with uh, m if we reverse the elements uh, m is the right answer option a next one t if the first 15 elements in the above sequence are written in reverse order then which of the following will be 21st from right end here first 15 elements first 15 means 1 2 3 4 and 5 up to here up to here first 15 elements are reversed first 15 elements are reversed then what is the 21st from right end. This is from right end. This is from right end. Once count, uh, what is 21st element? This is 3, 6, 8, sorry, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Up to here, 15. These are the 15 elements. 15 elements completed. Now, if we reverse first to 15, this R goes to here, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. If we reverse uh, first to 15, uh, 20 first, no need of interchanging all 15 elements. Uh, we want only 20 first element, uh, till then you can reverse. Uh, Till then you can reverse. Then you will get the answer. 2 is the answer. That is the 21st element from right end. Option A is the right answer. 2 is the answer. Option A. Next one. See here. This is a, it's like analogy type question. What should come in place of question mark in the following, uh, uh, in the following on the basis of the above sequence. Here it is following some logic. Uh, we have to apply the same logic for this one also. It is uh, it is like uh, analogy type question. Whatever the logic is applied for first group of uh, elements, the same logic should be applied for second group. Here star R J. First one is star R J. This is uh, second position from starting. First position and this is fourth position from starting. Whereas F 6 at the rate. F is second position from starting. 6 is first position from ending. Uh, from ending and uh, after that at the rate is uh, fourth position from ending. Here this is uh, reverse order. St initially star is there. Star is uh, second position from starting. After that that is uh, written as F. Uh, here the first, uh, first element is uh, second position from ending. If you observe these, uh, these are first elements, these are uh, ending onwards. These are from starting onwards, these are from ending onwards. Uh, in the similar fashion, L, J, dollar. This is, uh, L is fifth element. Uh, L is fifth element. What is fifth element? Q. That is, Q is given. 
After that, J. J is fourth element. Here, at the rate is there. E. Where is E? Here, E is which? Uh, sorry, E. Dollar. Here it is dollar. Six, seven. Seven is there. Here, what is the seventh one? Five, six, seven. That is E. In the similar fashion, here also you have to do the same thing. D. Dollar M. D is eighth position. What is eighth position? P. Eighth position from ending. That is P. After that, dollar. Dollar is seventh position from starting. What is seventh position from ending? E. It must starts with P E. M is which position? Tenth position from starting. What is tenth position from ending? W. Therefore, D dollar M, which is nothing but uh, P E W. In place of that question mark. Uh, P E W that is the answer option B P E W why because here the logic is uh, here first group of elements are from starting onwards uh, whereas uh, second group of elements are from uh, ending onwards uh, based on their respect to positions position numbers are same but uh, first group is from uh, starting whereas from uh, second group is from ending that is the only difference option b is the right answer guys i hope you enjoyed the session thank you thank you very much for watching